We got my sippy cup here. Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson. I'm a wedding cinematographer and I've been shooting weddings for about six years now, which does not make me an expert in any sense of the term, but I have learned a few things. A couple months ago, my friend Chris said, hey, you should start making some reviews and tutorials and training and tips for people that want to get better at wedding cinematography. I know that I would watch it and I'm like, well, okay, that's one person that would watch it, I'll do it. Since then, I've made two videos. One of them is a review of the Sony a7S II, and the other one is a review of the Sony FS5, which are both pretty technical, but aimed at wedding cinematographers that are considering using those cameras to shoot weddings. Now I've got to take a step back from the technical reviews like that because I cannot afford to buy any more cameras at this point. So I want to talk to you about something that is very important, and that is how to get along with the wedding photographer on the wedding day, or vice versa, if you are the wedding photographer, how you can get along with the wedding videographer. Have you ever had a wedding where everything just clicks? You meet the photographer, you start getting along, you realize that you have the same interest. Suddenly you go from who's this random person to like, hey, there's a cool shot over here, you should check this out. And you're both like, that's awesome. And you're getting along really well. And then by the end of the night, you're like sharing information, like we should hang out sometime. You're in town too, this is great. Oh, you're two hours away, I'll drive to see you. This is awesome. Because meeting other creative people like that can be such a cool experience. What if I told you that every single wedding could be like that? Where maybe at the end of every wedding, you're not saying, oh, we should be friends and hang out, but you leave the wedding saying, that was a positive experience. I liked working with that person, I would do that again. And that's my goal with this video. One huge thing to consider with a wedding is that it is not a normal job. And you're like, well, dumb at, I know that. But in the sense of you are not in a cubicle from nine to five, Monday through Friday, if you're working in a cubicle, of course you know the same people because you're seeing them every day. With a wedding, you are working with a different coworker every week. So one week you may be working with one photographer, next week you're working with a different photographer. And some of these people are great. Some of these people are entrepreneurial, they should not be in a cubicle, they should be doing their own thing, running their own business, being happy and successful. On the flip side of that is you also have people that are way too crazy to be working in a cubicle and they're a little insane and you're like, you would not get along well with others and they're like, I'm gonna start my own business and then I don't have to work with those people. But then you have to work with them because you're shooting a wedding and you're dealing with them. And if you're one of those people, I'm sorry, I'm sure you're a very nice person, but you're a little weird, okay, just saying. But regardless of who you are working with at a wedding, remember that the bride and groom chose them. So it's not up to your opinion whether you're like, this person's insane, I don't wanna work with them or not. It is your job to get along with them for the day. So if you can do that and just remember, hey, the bride chose them, she wants to be happy, let's keep her happy, let's get along, that will go a long ways. It's not about you, it's about the bride and groom. Cool, okay. So this is my first massive tip for you that blew my mind whenever I experienced it and I wanna give a huge thanks to Alex Maldonado at Alex M Photography for doing it to me first and then me being able to experience it and share it with you. First, whenever you talk to the bride and groom before the wedding, and, and you should be doing that, find out who their wedding photographer is going to be. Look up their work, go to their website, look at their portfolio, check things over, find something positive in their work. Second, after you've looked at their work, go to their contact page and send them an email saying hi. And this totally like blew my mind when this first happened because Alex was like, hey man, your work's cool. Good to be working with you this Saturday. And I was like, who are you? You're so friendly. This is crazy. Usually I'm like, I don't know who I'm working with. And now I'm like, oh, I'm working with Alex. This is awesome. And we went instantly from, oh, you're my wedding competition of the, for the day to you're my friend Alex. This is great. So once you said hi to them in the email, tell them something that you like about them. Tell me you're a fan of something. And if you're looking at their photography and you're like, well, I'm not a huge fan of that, try to find the positives in it. Like, hey, those are cute kids you're taking pictures of. Or I really like your use of black and white. Find something in them that you can compliment them on because that starts things off on the right foot. And you gotta remember the bride and groom chose them. They clearly saw something positive in them that they wanted, that's why they hired them. Third, tell them that you're looking forward to shooting with them at the wedding. And this is gonna amaze them. They'll be like, me? They're looking forward to shooting with me? Oh, well I feel good about that. And suddenly you have this whole rapport of you've reached out to them, you've said hello, you've complimented their work, and then you told me you're looking forward to working with them. Suddenly you've gone completely on the polar side of who is this stranger that I have to work with all weekend to you're Matt, you're awesome, I love working with you, you're great. That is a huge game changer whenever you're shooting a wedding and having to spend the entire day with them. And finally, end your message with your phone number saying if they have any questions to call or text you. If you enable this professional courtesy ahead of time, you will be amazed at how smoothly your wedding day goes. Fast forward to your wedding day. You've reached out, you've sent the email, you've got a nice reply back. 
whenever you meet the photographer for the first time, reiterate everything that you said in the email. First off, tell them you wanna get along, and I realize that's kinda of basic, I wanna be your friend, but it really is helpful. Second, tell them you wanna share ideas. So if you see a cool shot, tell them, be like, hey, this is a cool angle, come over here and check this out. And suddenly you have this free flowing of creative information going back and forth where it's not like you're like, this is my shot, it's my perfect precious shot, you don't get it. Suddenly you're saying, hey, this is really cool. And you have this creative collaboration going on where both of your work is improving because of that. If you put all of this into practice, you will show up to the day of the wedding like you already know the photographer. I have literally had brides and grooms come up to me and ask, how many weddings have you two shot together? And I'm like, one, yours, we met, 10 minutes ago and they're like, but you get along and you're like, is that, not, is that weird? Okay. <laughs> but that's what happens when you hit it off really well with each other. I have had photographers floored because I emailed them and within five minutes of shooting, they're like, I want you to shoot every wedding with me. And I'm getting referrals from them now because they enjoy shooting with me. All because I took two minutes out of my day to send them an email saying, hi, I like your work. Looking forward to this weekend. Above all, keep in mind that everybody wins whenever the photographer and cinematographer get along. You're less stressed, the bride is less stressed, your work is better, everything benefits whenever you are friendly with each other. I really hope this video has helped you out regardless of whether you're a wedding cinematographer or photographer and you're able to use what you've learned here to improve your wedding day. Also, I have a lot of other video ideas I'm working through right now, so I'm hoping to release a new video very soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope that it was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, you can get in touch with me through the comments below or through my website, whoismat.com. Also, if you want to check out my wedding films, my wedding film production company is Filmstrong Productions at filmstrong.com. Thanks and have a great day.